Okay, so welcome to this SolidWorks drawn or SolidWorks video where I'm going to go through it, how to do a SolidWorks drawn for your DCG project. But look, I'm not going to do a desk lamp or I'm going to get myself in trouble. All right, so um, I have a different model here, and um, so I'm going to get cracking at going through doing a SolidWorks drawn for that. Right, so uh, first thing I would say is have some sort of template okay for your school okay try to um, rather than default draw draw looks um, that comes up here so if you don't have these things here dcga3l on your computer um, you can go into chrome and you it's likely that you won't need your teacher's permission to do this on the computer your, and to be honest your teacher will probably have it Type in T4 SOLIDWORKS drawings. So this is one of our uh, subject associations. So sheet format. Okay. Excel. Excel. All right. Now, just change that number to the destination you are to the year SOLIDWORKS you have. And then sheet templates. Okay, and repeat here, change the number to the version you have and extract. Anyway, when you go in here, you'll have them. So, okay. Now, all right, so we can go to drawn. All right, um, standard tree view. So we select our assembly here. All right, now we can look at our scales. So if we go to standard tree view, up here we can if you move the elevation you can position the tree views in the one go all right and then you can move these out all right you can adjust the scale but if you click this one here you can go down to all right um, our scale all right and we can adjust the scale through here Now, you can get, okay, user-defined scales in here. If you go to the drop-down arrow and just move up there, you can get user-defined scales or custom scales. Um, it would say, would in previous versions say user-defined up there. But now you have the opportunity, all right, to type in things. Now, okay, make sure to put in a detail drawn, all right, or for a hi hidden detail, okay, for your orthographic views. Now, for your output uh, three, okay, it's recommended one to two sheets, all right. Um, now, so we have our detail drawn in there. Of course, this model looks extremely busy with the hidden detail, so... I would, or I'd also put in, okay, another standard tree view, okay, this time I'd go, all right, uh, and take, take out the hidden detail in it, so I'd say we put it up here, okay, I might have the same scale, and I'd put wireframe on it, okay, now I can go color as well if I want, all right, I can put the color in. Right, but you don't have to do that in your orthographic views for your output uh, three or your output seven. And I meant to put that there. Now I gotta have all right. Um, I gotta have a pictorial view in this here. So I'm going to go model view. Okay, my assembly, isometric, and I can put that 